So I want to show you how to take pieces or portions of your result sets. Uh, let me just start out here by saying select splat from... Uh, let's go order details. I kind of neglect that table. Here you go. Here's all the order details. Now generally if a table is super huge and there's lots and lots of data, in this case there's actually enough that I can retrieve it. But but there are cases where the, the table will be just too big or if I'm hitting a s remote server and I'm pulling a lot of data down from it, uh, saying give me everything on the table can become quite expensive. So uh, you can also you can say a top 10 or 15 or 20 or you can put any kind of number here you want. Uh, let's just go top 5. Give me the top 5 which basically returns the first 5 rows. Now in practice this doesn't really make much sense because you're just taking the first five rows of of your result set. Except in the case where you just want to ins inspect and get a feel for what the table looks like. But for, to actually retrieve data and show it in some form or web form or whatever you want. Uh, generally you have an order by, so order by unit price. Let's go descending on that. You see here's the first five rows of the highest unit price uh, ordered product. Looks like a lot of people are enjoying product ID 38. All right, so I can also take a percentage. I can say, um, give me the top 5% here. Watch what happens. We have five rows now, but now we have 5% of the result set here. So scroll down, scroll down. We have 108 records return. I'm just curious. Select splat. Wait. Count splat from order details. So let's see. We have 108 rows. So if I count the number of order details, 108 divided by 2155 is 5 or 0.055%. So anyway, there's that syntax too. Now I'm going to do some ranking queries. Let's just find um let's find the number of customers that uh let's let's find how many orders each customer has made. So I'm going to select uh customer ID and then count splat from orders group by customer ID. I believe that'll do it. Okay, so here we go. Here's the customer IDs and the number of orders that they have. I'm going to do order by, I could say count splat here, descending. And that gives us, looks like Sevilla or Sevilla has the most and so on and so forth. Um, remember that order by is evaluated last out of everything in here. And so I can actually say uh, as num orders. And then I don't have to repeat the count splat right here. So there we go. Same result. Okay, now, say I want to get the, the, we're looking at the result set here, top six. The customers with the most orders, I want the top six of them. Well, look at our result set here. We have Savea, 31, obviously a winner. Uh, Ernest, 30, Quick, 28, Foco, 19, Hungo, 19. Now these two tied. Okay, and then Hilla is 18. So if we say top six, that's just going to give me the first six rows. But it looks like Bergs and Rat C have also tied for the sixth place, or maybe it's it's uh, one, two, three, four, fifth place. All right. So it really depends on what what you're trying to retrieve. Do you want the top six and group up all the ties as well? Because if we did the top six, it would be one, two, three. Four, five, six. So that would actually be the top six. But if I just say top six, it's going to slice it right here. Let me just show you top six. And there we go. It looks like Berg's one and the other two got dropped. All right. So that that might not be the result you want. So we can say, give me the top. One thing we can do is top six with ties. All right. And what that basically says is for the last place, if there's any ties which in this case we do have some ties for 18. Uh, if there's any ties, include them. So run that. And look, now we have all the 18s. Um, but one, one thing to consider, like I said, this is first place, second place, third place. These two tied for fourth, and these three tied for fifth. We actually do not have a sixth place in this case. So let me show you one way we can figure out who's actually where and who's tied for what place. So I'm going to get rid of the top six with ties here. I'm going to show you some ranking functions you can do. So there's uh, three of them. You can say row, number, and when you specify these ranking functions, you have to say what you want them to rank over. You know, and here, even though I've said or order by number of orders and we want them to rank over that, we have to we have to say it again. So I can order by, and I'd love to say num orders here. 
just uppercase that. But I run, when I run this, it says invalid column name num orders, which makes sense, but it's kind of frustrating because th this column doesn't exist until after this executes the whole select. And and so even though this is part of the select, and I've even listed num orders before this column, the entire select statement has not evaluated. So num orders doesn't really exist, so I have to be repetitive. And I have to say count splat again. I want it to row number over the count splat. And uh, there we go. Notice. Oh, I forgot to say. If you notice the numbering here, 89, 88, 87, it's opposite from what we have here. I'm going to say descending. I want it to row over descending. But, but that, that should also prove to you that this order by is completely independent of this order by, even though probably 95% of the time you want them to be the same. But let's say descending. So now. Basically, a row number gives us a row number for every row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, there's two other ranking functions we can do. I'm just going to copy this line and paste it two more times. Instead of saying row number, I can say rank. And I can say dense rank. Let's just, let me, uh, actually, I want to give these columns some names so it makes sense. So I'm going to say row number. And here I'm going to say this is the rank, and this is the dense rank. Remove the trailing comma. Okay, F5. All right, so now we have Savea 31, row number 1. Rank is 1. Savea just has topped it for number of orders, so I have their first place all around. Notice rank goes 1, 2, 3, 4. Notice these two tied for 4th. And then it skips 5 because... Technically, one of these two make up for the fifth place. So then we get six, six, six. Oh, that's a bad number. Anyway, um, three sixes in a row, nine, and so forth. So we've ranked them, but we're skipping numbers where there's dupes. So notice since we have three sixes, we jump straight to nine. So instead of going six, seven, eight, nine, it goes six, 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 and then we have a nine. Dense rank, on the other hand, uh, does the same thing as rank, except it doesn't skip the numbers like we saw. So first, second, third, fourth. These two tied for fourth, but instead of skipping five and going straight to six, it just says, well, these are the fifth place people, and this is the sixth and seventh, and so on and so forth. Anyway, so that's that's taking portions of your data depending on where they rank or what order you want, or you know, is the top ten, top ten percent, that kind of thing. And and these these I can I can change this up all I want. I could order by customer ID here if I wanted to. They're completely independent, but our customer ID. Anyway, now we see that the dense rank, these are a lot of whack from the other ones because this is ordering by something different than the other ones. But if we ordered by customer ID here and actually got the the data in the same, we'd see, oh, okay, dense rank, one, two, three, four, five. Now, ranking or doing a dense rank over customer ID doesn't really make sense because none of these customers are going to have the... Oh, actually, yeah, this is from uh, order details. So let's... If I didn't do the group by, which makes these distinct, then we actually would have have uh, some some duplicates in this column and have some uh, some ties anyway there you go